Hello, I'm Sarah Harvey. And I'm Sydney Warren. And our project is on modern day slavery in Haiti. Yeah, um, so our project focuses on human trafficking, specifically in Haiti. And our project aims to bring to widespread public attention the violations of basic human rights in developing and often ignored countries like Haiti. And we hope to shine a spotlight onto human trafficking in Haiti in an effort to try and gain support for the movement to overcome human trafficking. Um, for the definition of human trafficking, uh, it can be defined as any form of recruitment, movement, or targeting of persons with the goal of exploitation in mind through the use of deception or violation to encourage cooperation. Just a little note that Haiti is in the top 10 on the Global Slavery Index. Um, human trafficking implies some form of forced action, whether it be um, sexual exploitation or forced labor, even as far as organ harvesting. Um, and when we're talking about human trafficking, oftentimes women, children, and those in poverty are more susceptible because um, education plays a huge part in making sure that children and women have the ability to put themselves in a situation where they aren't vulnerable. And um, women make up 51% of the population that are human trafficked, and children make up 28% of the population worldwide. In Haiti, the rest of it system is a huge um, part of human trafficking. Um, it was created after the Slaves' Rebellion to um, make Haiti their own individual country. And um, it entails a system where parents give up their children in order to receive financial compensation. Obviously, it's normally done by the poor um, people in the country. Um, and children are forced into exhausting labor, humiliation, and it often leads to sexual exploitation and further physical harm. Um, an incident that should be acknowledged is the UN Peacekeeper incident which is where peacekeepers were allegedly being involved in a sexual exploitation ring within Haiti's borders during 2005 to 2007. According to the UN Peacekeeping Department, these multi-dimensional peacekeeping operations are called upon not only to maintain peace and security, but also to protect civilians and protect and promote human rights and also assist in restoring the rule of law. But obviously this didn't happen as many of the UN peacekeepers were involved in a sexual exploitation ring. There were thousands of reports that came in claiming sexual assault, but none of the peacekeepers were actually incarcerated for what they did. And since then, the UN has pulled peacekeepers from Haiti, but the, peace, the sex trafficking still exists in Haiti. So ultimately, the peacekeepers did not help the nation of Haiti like they were deployed to do so and arguably they made the situation worse and c contributed to the sexual mistreatment of children and females. And in 2010 the earthquake um, in Haiti um, also increased the amount of human trafficking that was occurring. Um, organ harvesting occurred in response to a need for organs by hospitals and oftentimes would lead to assassination or murdering of people in order to get these. Um, and oftentimes children were taken and sold abroad under the tent of adoption um, and were subjected to harm and abuse. Um, and in this situation, about 70 to 80% of the country's aid came from non-governmental associations just because of a fear by the government within Haiti of um, sovereignty, which also limited the amount of assistance that this country could receive. Um, and finally, we'd like to thank Matthias Vogel for his help in research on this project as a mentor for the Global Engagement Arc. We hope you enjoyed our presentation.